y'all get to see me twice today. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to our July's training about running your VIP group to the max. And so if you're hopping on, say hey. It's a lot to cover. Um, I kind of want to throw this out here that I have done this training one time before, um, back in the beginning of February of this year. And so if you're new to the team and you didn't see my training yet, I do highly recommend that you go to our YouTube channel and go to uh, February 9th. I did this training in an extensive amount of training about VIP groups and what the difference is and why you should have one, blah, 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 blah. Um, tonight, I'm not going to go too deep in VIP groups, but I do want to talk a little bit about how to run them, um, some ideas, some tips, um, some tricks, um, what I do, the importance of VIP group, kind of be a little general. I won't go too far into steps and, sh and you'll get what I'm saying when I go through this training. Um, I had like 10 pages of notes. I kind of find my notes from the last training I did on this uh, back in February and it was like 10 pages long and I'm not going to go through every nook and cranny and so I do want to throw that out there. If you're new to the team, I have done this training in depth <laughs> back in February and it's in our YouTube channel. If you need to know every nook and cranny, I do suggest you watch that video. I will try not to make it as long as, the, as that one. Um, hey Jen, hey. Um, so first and foremost, VIP groups, all right? If you are here, you pretty much have a VIP group, I'm sure, especially if you signed up directly under me, we threw your launch party um, first, and then we did, you know, we converted your VIP, um, converted your launch party to your VIP group. That's typically what we do. We love to start you guys off with, with a launch party, and then we will get you launched into a your very own VIP group. And we call it VIPs because these are your customers that purchase from you and if you do the things that we guide you guys on on all the time consistency showing up being there for your customers they are vips right they are your exclusive customers so we have to treat them as such right that's why we call it a vip group um occasionally we'll post in our personal pages yeah we'll post occasionally in our ig stories our pinterest wherever your social media platform is right but having a vip group it's where you can share and treat your top customers exclusively, right? So that's the importance of having a VIP group. If you don't have a VIP group and you're watching this, I highly suggest you look into it because VIP group, it's like a family group. Like I treat my VIPs like gold because they run my business. They bring the income in, right? They're the ones that support me. They're the ones that keep me going. So why am I not gonna treat them like gold and VIPs, right? Hey, Trisha. Um, there is Facebook pages out there. You can do that as well. I have both because I, I, I'm always trying to find new customers, whether it's strangers or vendor events or whatever. I, I have both, but we're not going to talk about that today. Um, like I said, if you want to see and hear about all the nooks and crannies about how to run your business, definitely check out our YouTube channel because um, I have uploaded that training. Um, so like I said, treat your VIPs like family. Treat them like gold because I'm telling you now, if you do that, you will set yourself apart from someone else that's a consultant that doesn't do what you do, okay? Um, you only want members, and I'm sorry, I wrote notes so I don't go squirreling. Um, so you may see me occasionally look at my notebook. Um, you only want members, you only want people in your VIP group that you want to be in your VIP group, right? So don't spam your VIP group and invite every single person on your friends list, 500 friends, over to your VIP group just because you want to blow up your VIP group numbers. It's not about the numbers, okay? I learned that. It's not about the numbers. Uh, Megan talks about it all the time. I know I've talked about it. I have 180 people, I think. And actually, I, it used to be like three or 400 people because I thought, hmm, the more people that are in it, the better. No, less is actually better. You want VIPs in there that you truly have a connection with, you truly want in your group. It's not about the number. So even if you have 20 people in your VIP group, 
those 20 people, I'm sure, are wholeheartedly, 100% support your business. They're always commenting on your stuff. They're always supporting your business, whether it's sharing your post or commenting or sharing your page or whatever, right? It don't matter how many people are in your VIP group. On the flip side of that, if you only have 20 people in your VIP group, that could also be an issue because are you doing the things that we're talking about today in your VIP group and you feel like your VIP group is not growing? That's why I'm here today, to talk to you guys about ideas and tricks and things that you should be doing almost on a consistent basis if you want your VIP group to grow. If it's only 10 or 15 people, you should want it to grow a little bit. I'm not saying that that's something wrong, at having 15 people in your VIP group. By all means, if they are so totally building your business, then amen, sister. Um, so also keep that in mind, okay? Don't feel like you see these VIP groups that have over thousands of people. Do they genuinely have a connection with every single person? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. If I, I don't even know how they would have a connection with every thousand person in their VIP group. Um, not that I have a personal connection with 188 of mine. I typically know each and every one of my VIPs on a personal level. I can say that. Um, but I do have my top VIPs. The, about 30 or 40 or 50 of them, I genuinely have a conversation with almost daily. And that's good, right? So you don't have to just kind of think that, keep that in mind when you're building your VIP group and the connections that you have with your VIPs. It's not about the numbers. Please don't let that fret you away like, oh my God, that person has a thousand VIP members. I need to grow it to that. No, don't think that way. The biggest thing I want to talk to you guys about is mindset. And I say this with a good heart. Y'all know I do not sugarcoat. I do not beat around the bush. I wouldn't want you guys to do that to me. I wouldn't want Megan, my sponsor, to do that to me and she knows it. I want to know the real deal, right? When it comes to mindset, we are here as a business owner for Sunset, right? You guys probably, and I'm speaking from assumptions, you guys are probably here because you love Sunset yourself. You're using it, right? You're using it every day. You're trying new products. You're, you know, you're, you're incorporating your kids or your family, right? We're not selling Sunset, okay? So if you have that mindset that you're here to sell Sunset, bounce it. Bounce it out. Because it's not going to get you far. It's not going to build your business. I'm telling you guys, write that. Take If you take anything from me, hey, Sherry, if you take anything from me, take that mindset out the window. Because if you are here to sell, it ain't gonna, it's not going to get you far. Especially if you are new or you're starting to build your business or you're wondering why your business hasn't grown if you've been here for a bit. It's because the mindset. I'm, I, nine times out of ten, it's about the mindset or it's not consistent. And then you're not being consistent. Hey, Lori. So that's first and foremost. The biggest thing is mindset. Your mindset should be about sharing. What products do you love to use every day? And share why you love them. Share why someone should buy the, the whip box. I share about the whip box almost every day because I love it. And I want them to know why I love it. Why should they get a whip box, right? Not selling. I throw that out the window. I always want them to know why I love something, why I use this, why I do this. It's not about selling because that's a big turnoff, especially nowadays. People don't want to just buy, buy, buy or feel like they're being sold something. They want to know how it's going to benefit them. They're going to want to know why should they get that. Why is Kim buying all these whip boxes? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That should be your mindset. If it's not You've got to figure out how to get it there because that is a game changer. A business changer is that mindset. We talk about mindset all the time with Sensi because that is, that's the, that's all it takes is your mindset. If you're negative all the time, you're going to bring negative, right? Yes, it's sometimes it's hard to always be positive. I can take it from me, but having that positive mindset and thinking of ways to change your business to be better. To, to branch out, it is it will change the business. It will change you, okay? So mindset, do not be about selling Sensi. If you post flyers after flyers after flyers after flyers, don't put nothing in your post but the flyer and post it. Put your link and just the flyer and don't say nothing. Or buy, 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 or head to my link and buy. All that, stop it. If you're doing that in your VIP group, stop it. 
because it's not going to get you anywhere. It may get you a little ways, but it's only going to last but this much. I'm telling you that that that, that now. Um, start looking at your VIP group. If I can go into your VIP group and scroll, am I able to see that you're being consistent? Am I able to see your love and passion for Sensi? Am I able to see that you're enjoying Sensi? Am I able to see how you're working your business, right? These are the things that I need you guys to go into your VIP groups and grade yourself. Figure out what things you're not doing or you may not doing enough of and try to incorporate and change the game. And I'm telling you now, things will change. No, it's not going to happen tomorrow. No, it may not happen by the weekend. But the more you do it, the more you will build. Please trust me on that. Trust me on that. My, I can go on and on and on. Y'all know that. I'm um, trying to keep it simple, but please try to change the mindset of how you're posting and what you're sharing, okay? Sell does not get you anywhere. It doesn't. Just a little mile, but that's about it. It'll stop, and, it, and, and, and then your business won't grow, okay? Be personal. Think about sharing, okay? Not selling. That's the biggest thing about VIP groups. Make a plan. If you don't have a plan in place, think about a plan. Think about how you want to post, when you want to post. And what? <laughs> I missed that important one. Hey, Jen, think about a plan. Think about how you want to post. Do you want to post daily? What kind of things do you want to post? Do you want to post tips and tricks certain days? Do you want to post Wax Wednesdays every Wednesday? Do you want to post a schedule and, and so that your VIPs know what's going on? Do you want to incorporate your family, which you should be doing? If you are not incorporating your family, like this is a business. This is promoting your business with incorporating your family. Your business is helping your family and you, right? Incorporate that. If you don't have a family, then if you have a pet, if you have a passion, share what is makes you you, okay? So when you're thinking about a plan, think about what you want to do and how you want to post and what you want to post, right? So let's just give me, get, let me give you an example of how I run things and maybe you can take some, some ideas from that. Hey, Vicki, hey. So every Sunday or Monday, depending on if I have time Sunday, sometimes I don't, I just post it Monday morning, I do a weekly schedule. I'm not saying you have to do this. I've been doing this for almost a year and my VIPs look forward to that schedule because it keeps them on track and they make their own schedule based upon my schedule. So like I've had VIPs comment or message me saying, Kim, are you doing tips and tricks this week? Or Kim, are you doing any wax uh, bundles this Wednesday for Wax Wednesday? Kim, is there anything coming out Monday like you do every week? They actually look forward to a routine. Even I mean, not that every VIP group is the same. And let me just throw that little disclaimer out there. Your VIPs may not work like my VIPs. Uh, Megan's VIPs are totally different than my VIPs. They don't like... They just, they're different. My VIPs is a good mix between, you know, older, younger. It's a good mix crowd. So I have a little bit of everything in my VIP group. So what tips I'm showing you and telling you guys may not work in your VIP group. They may. You may need to tweak a little bit what I'm offering, right? So just, if you have not tried any of the, these ideas, at least try them for 30 to 60 days and see if they work. Do not give it a, a day or two or a week and say, that idea sucked. Give it a good 30 to 60 days. They say typically when you try something new, typically it starts to kick in. You start to see success in 30 to 60 days. Okay? So if you're going to try ideas, try them for a bit because sometimes that first week it may not be any success or the second week or the third week. So I'm just throwing that out there too. I'm kind of squirreling. But every week I post a schedule and the kid that my and the VIPs look forward to that, right? They know that every Tuesday or every Thursday I do tips or tricks or this and that or, you know, thirsty, I'm thirsty. Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm just looking at my water. Um, and they know that every Wednesday is Wax Wednesday. We change our wax. They know I change my wax. They know that I include them on how I pick my wax. Um, that I teach them every week how to change their wax. It may seem redundant, but... It's crazy how the more you do it over and over and over, I tend to find more success and more orders coming in because maybe those five people that didn't see it the week before, they seen it this week and it caught their eye. Or there may be some VIPs that just need that redundancy every week, right? So I feel like sometimes I'm beating the bush too much, but it's really doing me, doing me justice. So 
they look forward to those things. Not saying that you have to do a weekly schedule, but try to think of being consistent. That does help. Um, if you are a morning person and you drink coffee every morning or you drink tea or you sit on the back porch every morning and that's your routine, post about that. Get your VIPs involved. If you go out on a horseback ride every morning, do a live or show a video of what you do every morning. Get your VIPs into your world because honestly, they want to know more about you, see you and your family or whatever makes you you, more so your business. And that is how your business is going to grow, believe it or not. It's amazing how much engagement I get when I post pictures of my kids making samples or my husband is helping me do something in my business or they see my kids doing a live with me. It's amazing how I'm posting pictures of when we decided to go in the pool or when we went to Disney. Like it was just involving them and them seeing what we do in our spare time. They thrive on that. So if you're not being personal with your VIPs, I take it from me. Start treating your VIPs as family. Take the selling out of your head. Think about how can I get that next order. Think, don't take all that out. At the end of the day, you're building a business, okay? Just like Target and Walmart, when they first opened their doors, nobody knew what they sold. I mean, who knows when they opened up their doors? I Don't ask me. But the more and more people came and started to see how they were treated as customers. And, you know, the more and more people come to your VIP group and see what you're all about, see what you offer, see how you are as a person, see what you share, see what you bring to them, to their lives. They're going to start to grow to like you and love you and want to be around you and see what you're going to do each and every day. And the next thing you know, you're just incorporating Sensi into that a little bit by showing them what you're using that day. Or I just use mango body cream today and it makes my body feel super, super silky smooth. Y'all need to try this. This stuff is amazing. Like, oh, Kim, what, what's this go-go mango lotion you're talking about? You see what I'm saying? So Sensi's a bonus. Just consider that. Um... Post encouraging quotes. You know, that's your jam. Like, I do that all the time. Y'all do it here. You know, incorporate that in your business. I know that when I was part of Lori's group, Lori's VIP group for a bit, she always posted a good morning post and a good evening post. You know, just some ideas. Like, think of things that make you you, what you do in your spare time, what you like to do in your personal page. If you post motivation quotes in your personal page, post them into your VIP group. I like to post pictures of my dinners and my breakfasts and my lunches and ask for ideas from my VIPs. And guess what? They love to be engaged in those because they're giving me their ideas and we're swapping recipe ideas. And next thing you know, I'm posting pictures of the stuff that I made that they gave me ideas on and it makes them feel great. It makes them feel like I pay attention to them. I genuinely love and care about my VIPs. I, I, it's just a great feeling, okay? So if you're not getting these vibes, from your VIP group, think of things that you're posting. Think of things that you may could be posting more of. You know, do they know that you have a family? Do they even know you have a husband? Do they even know that you have kids? Do they know you have a dog? Do they know you have fish? If they don't, think about incorporating them into your VIP group, okay? Do they know that you love to knit? Do they know that you love to dance? Like my VIPs know how crazy my family is. They know how Matt likes to sing and dance. I post them all the time. You know, they know how I can be crazy and funny. I don't care what I look like. Like I wear, half the time I'm wearing PJs. I'm wearing PJs now for y'all. Like that's another thing about mindset. Like I don't care what I look like. Half the time my hair is in a hot mess. I'll tell them that. I'm like, look, y'all. Y'all are getting me. I've had a hot freaking day. My, I haven't washed my hair in three days. And they get me because I'm authentic. I'm being real. I'm not being this perfect Barbie doll. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're getting me. And sometimes my kids are yelling in the background. Sometimes my dog, she loves to freaking play and act nuts during a live. And knock on wood, she hasn't done it yet while we're talking. But typically, like, it's not going to be perfect in rainbows and butterflies. And let them see that. You know, um, Erica, I hate to throw you under the bus, girlfriend, but earlier today, she did a spontaneous live during work. 
And she even said to her VIPs, look, I'm getting ready to go on break. Excuse the mess, but here's my, fan, my, my mini fan diffuser. But guess what? She's showing that she's real. Whose car is freaking perfect? I know my car is completely dirty, and I took a picture of Maddox the Scentsy Buddy the other day, and my car is, ugh, like to me, it's dirty. I know it is. You be authentic. Let them know you're real. Let them know you're true. Let them know that you are, you're being you. And guess what? Because they see that, they see the authenticity, they see you're being real, that's going to build the trust. That's going to build your business. And that is going to get you where they're going to want the things that you share. Sensi, right? They're going to see that Kim's going to, Kim just showing off her Maddox buddy in her dirty car. But guess what? Her car smells like iridescent pearl right now. And it smells amazing, right? I need a buddy because I don't like the scent circles or the car bars. And I just want a buddy because I have kids and my kids love to hold something to keep them calm and their anxiety in their car. And guess what? My car is smelling good. My kids are behaving because they're calm. Do you see what I'm saying? So you never know what your posts can do for your VIPs. So think about being personal. Think about what you're sharing right now. Think about the ideas that I'm throwing at you guys. Just throwing them out there and see what you're doing that you could change. Okay? And I'm sorry for throwing you under the bus, Erica, but that was brilliant. I thought that was freaking amazing. Like, I could relate to you. Like, she made me feel like I need to be smelling all the good things while I'm taking my break. Like, you see what I'm saying? So good, kudos to you, Erica, earlier. Um, post a variety of pics, and I talked about that just a bit a minute ago. Don't post flyers, and that's it in your VIP group. You're not going to get any responses. You're going to get turnoffs, okay? Don't post just flyers salesy flyers and not saying anything and I'm not saying flyers are bad because I use them anybody can use them everybody uses flyers but it's the way you approach your business and share those flyers makes or breaks the business so for instance all the LTLs limited time offers right we don't physically have those products, right? Like those best berry uh, koala bears that came out today and the all-purpose concentrate cleaner yeah, we have the all-purpose concentrate cleaner. So I told you guys last week that, you know, post whatever you have personal. Those all-purpose concentrate cleaners, you could have t taken selfies with those or posted that picture of them on your counter and said, guess what's coming, guys, you know. But if we don't have the product, we're going to have the flyers only. And that's perfectly fine, right? But the way you word your posting, think about how you're wording it and not make it salesy. Okay, don't make it difficult. It doesn't have to be that difficult. You know, I don't want you guys to be stressing over, oh my God, am I wording this right? Don't make it more than what it is. Don't make it difficult, you know? Like for instance, the best butter, the best, I keep stuttering over that, best berry uh, buddy clips that happened today, right? They're freaking cute. Think about how cute they will be with best friends to have them and hook them to their book bags and they're so freaking cute. And You know, be passionate in your wording. Okay, add some emojis, add some, um, whatever lingo you like to use a lot. Like I like to say eek a lot, right? Or I like to say whoo or wow. Like I just use keywords like that. And they know that I'm genuinely talking about these products that I cannot wait to get my hands on either. And I'm not saying you have to buy every single limited time offer item and you don't have to be genuinely excited about these products because they may not be your cup of tea. You may not like buddy clips. You may not like all-purpose concentrate. But guess what? Be excited because it's part of your business and you want to share the good news to your VIPs. Let them know what's coming. Because even if it's not your jam, it may be your VIPs jam. They may need a cleaner that gets that grime off their floors. They may have little kids that love koala bears. Get them excited and be genuine in your post, even if it's not your jam, right? I'm always genuine about my, my about my posts. Like Harry Potter, for instance, and please don't yell at me through the screen. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Did you guess that? Like if you guys, some of you guys may still be in my VIP group because you guys are new, and we'll talk about that in just a second about VIPs and consultants and such. But they don't know that I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I don't know nothing about Harry Potter, right? But guess what? I made it seem like I was, and I genuinely try to research and figure out all the ins and outs in Hogwarts houses and what house you are in and what house you're in. 
Did they know that I was not a hall? Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta wing it, right? And I am actually genuinely trying to look into it because I, I Alyssa is into it, and I guess I just need I need to start getting into it because it seems pretty interesting now that we've got a license for Harry Potter. Like, hello, like we're growing, and I need to know all the things because I need to make sure I'm available and I know all the things for my VIPs just in case they ask me, right? <laughs> um, that's just an idea. Um, so kind of, let's kind of talk a little bit and I don't want to draw on this and I'm trying to keep track of my time. So I'm hoping I'm not too, too long, but let's just give you guys some ideas on what you can do in your VIP group that you may not be doing right now. One is mystery hostess parties. They are huge in my VIP group. And I do want to throw a disclaimer out there and I'm changing the game in my VIP group is that at first I was only doing mystery hostess parties for VIPs that ordered. Now. The compliance issue is a little hairy. So I want to make sure I stay in compliance. So if you're doing mystery hostess parties, make sure you are not only offering them to your VIPs, but you're also giving them other chances to get in the drawings. That way you can stay in compliance, okay? I'm always trying to stay on top of these compliance rules, compliance standards, that handbook you guys get. They don't talk about mystery hostess parties in those books. We're just going off of the fly, going off of the consultant support. And you know, there is mixed, information out there. So I want to make sure you guys know all the things. So mystery hostess parties are huge in my VIP group and I'll tell you why. Because they are, they see that ordering, they're ordering anyways, right? They don't know that behind the scenes we are getting free and half priced items, right? So when your customers are ordering the special link, a party link, they don't know. Some some customers that shop with you, they don't know that there's parties. They don't know that you get free and half price items by hosting a party, right? So when you're opening up a mystery hostess link, yes, you are the host initially because you got to put somebody in there, right, in the workstation. But they don't know that they're getting free and half off, right? I mean, you, they don't know that you are getting free and half off for real. But what you're offering for your VIPs is that those that order this month that shop this link, they're shopping anyways, right? Those hostess rewards are building up, right, in the back scenes. You elect to give those to your VIPs at the end of the month, right? That is a game changer in my business because they know that I am giving away my product, my Sensi's hostess rewards. I'm giving them away because instead of me taking them and running with them, I am changing the host at the end of the month to someone that orders using that link. And other ways to get in that mystery hostess party, i.e. winning a game, they can get an entry um, if they um, participate in particular posts and you can indicate anyone that participates in this post today gets an entry, things like that. Think of creative ways that they can get entries into this mystery hostess and then they can win the VIP, uh, the mystery hostess award rewards. So I kind of don't want to get into the steps of how to create a party. We talk about that in one of my other trainings. But basically, you create a party in your workstation. Name yourself as a host. In the beginning of the month, I always say, hey, VIPs, happy July. Um, we had a great month last month. Um, here is the new July's mystery hostess link to shop from. Shop anytime between July 1st and July 29th. On July 30th, anyone that shops this link or earns an entry into the mystery hostess drawing may have a chance to earn all the hostess rewards, which is half off and free, Sensi, right? Say that at the beginning of the month. Let's just say you're not doing one right now. Think about doing it for August, new catalog season, right? You can start one now if you want to. I mean, it's up to you. I usually do them every beginning of the month. It gets them knowing that this is the link I need to shop from because I want to earn the rewards, right? I always have it pinned at the top of my page. That's another big thing. Can I go to your VIP group right now and know how to shop? Does your VIPs know what link to shop from? Like, do they know how to shop your link, right? So I always make sure that my post at the top of my page, which is called pinned to the top announcement, they know our calendar every week which is in my VIP group. I'm not saying you have to do this, but make sure you put a post at the beginning of your page. That way they know how to shop. They know what page that they've come across. You know, do they know Trish, this is Trisha's VIP group. Do they know to shop Trisha's mystery hostess link party for this month 
of July, right? Make sure you are making that an announcement and pinning it to the top of your page. We talked about how to work a VIP group before, and if you need some tutorials, definitely YouTube those, like learning how to pin announcements, learning how to make a VIP group. I'm not going to go over that today with you guys, but think about doing that as a pinned post, you know, making those changes. Those little touches can make or break your, your VIP group. And so that's the biggest thing in my VIP group is the mystery hostess party. If you're not doing that and you're trying to look for a boost of engagements and sales in that way of form, think about doing a mystery hostess because it's really, it's really game changer. And not saying that you may hit it off huge next month. It may not. It may be a flop. I've had many, many months. I've been doing this a year and a half now of mystery hostess. I think my first six months were duds. I either made it barely to 200, which is a qualifying party, y'all know that, or it was barely under 200. And then what I would do is I would extend it to the next month, and I'll just let VIPs know, look, we didn't quite hit to a qualifying party, guys, this month, um, but I'm going to extend it into the next month, and anyone that shops this month and next month is going into the pot, right? So you could extend your mystery hostess party. Don't feel bad if you don't have a big party. Don't feel bad if you barely make it to qualifying. You know what I'm saying? Anything is better than nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I always say. So think about mystery hostess. I'm not going to keep dwelling on that. Um, VIP groups allows you to show up the product. You get to learn about your customers. You have daily interaction with your customers, and it builds your your personal brand. So we kind of talked about that earlier. You know, does your customers know you have a family? Does your customers know what you like? My customers know I love freaking coffee. <laughs> I think the whole world knows Kim loves coffee. I, I voice it a lot in my personal media, my personal social page, and I do it in my VIP group. Um, so what things do you love to do in your spare time? What things do you love? Period. They know I love coffee. They, every morning I do a, a, a morning post. It's either coffee originated or it's quotes that I'm feeling at the moment. Sometimes they're they're bold. Sometimes it's whatever's on my mind. I'm showing them I'm real. You know, I'm not always going to have good days and they know it. Like if I wake up with a migraine or if I wake up 10 o'clock in the morning and I haven't posted nothing that morning and they normally see me at 8 o'clock or 8.30 in the morning, I'll just say, guys, I am struggling today. I should have been up. I'm dealing with the migraine. Um, I apologize. How's everybody? Every, how's everyone's morning today? You know, think of being personal. Keep them in the know. Be you. Okay? Sensi is a bonus. Okay? Sensi is a bonus. All right. So now I'm going through a couple of my tips of, um, that I took from last training so that I can kind of talk to you guys about that. We talked about mindset. We talked about being personal. Um, we talked about recreating the vision of, of Sensi. And I want to touch base about that really, really quick as far as recreating Sensi. So like I said, if you have the product in hand, it's better to show that than a stock photo. It's better to show personal than a website photo. So if you have the product in hand, Show that off. You don't have to take selfies. You don't have to take videos of it if you're not comfortable yet on that. But post pictures of that versus stock. And I've talked about this before. You can go on Facebook in the search box, right? The main of your Facebook, right? If you're on your main news feed, at the top, the Facebook search bar, whatever you want to post about, whether it's the new warmer of the month or if it's stargazing wax or if it's Whatever you want to post about that day or you want to share, type it, at the, type it up at the top and always include the word Sensi. Anybody that has posted about that product publicly in the Facebook world, it will pop up. Save the image as long as it's clear. Make sure your images are clear, okay? Save it and use it as your own. There's nine times out of ten if I'm trying to share product and it's, it's out there and I can find it, I'm going to use personal. Versus stock, flyers, whatever have you, okay? Excluding those limited time offers we just talked about. But if it's been out there and people have it in their hands, I'm going to find their, I'm gonna find a picture that's personal versus using a stock photo. That's just me. And I suggest you guys do the same. Because more personal, the better. Because people are seeing that warmer in a home setting. They're seeing the mini fan diffuser in the car. They're seeing... Car bars, scent circles hanging from that review mirror, right? Your review mirror, for instance. They're seeing things in action 
it gets them linked to it better when they actually see the product and they can vision that as theirs, right? Think about that when you're thinking about what to post. I also suggest if you're running out of ideas on what to post, go into those flyer groups that we have you guys join, the Make Sense and the Graphics Chicks, and there's Frequent Flyer. If you're not on that one, Frequent Flyer, F-L-I-E-R, that's a really good one. Um, Pinterest, um, 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 just Facebook in general, search it. Like I mentioned, if you're looking for a particular warmer or item, top of the page, Facebook, search it. Somebody's posted about it. I, I'm guaranteeing it. Um, that's how I get my photos. That's how I get my ideas. When I come up with my weekly schedule, I go through the graphics uh, websites that make sense and the, um, the graphics Facebook pages that we're all part of, and I go into their albums, right? Each one of the albums is categorized. Pet products, body products, whiff boxes, warmers, uh, unplugged, Scentsy Buddies, whatever, right? And I come up with ideas on what I want to post about each day. I think about themes. There's all kinds of themes out there, guys. There could be Wax Wednesday, Super Saturday Special, uh, Change Wax Day. You come up with your themes, but there's also many of themes in Pinterest, Flyer Groups, um, Google. Everything's out there, guys, to get ideas. And that's where I get mine. Uh, y'all may think I'm creative, and I am nine times less creative than y'all think I am. I just use and try to t tweak what I find every time to make my content in my VIP group. Um, and sometimes things are redundant. And that's because it helps keep me on track. It keeps my customers. It helps being redundant in my VIP group. Because like I said, some people may not have seen Wax Wednesday two, three weeks in a row. And they're just now seeing it for the first time. They may be new to my VIP group and haven't seen it at all the past three months and they're seeing Wax Wednesday for the first time ever. That's okay, right? So I like to have redundancy in my group. I like to have consistency. They like to know what's coming up. And I'm not saying you have to do a schedule. You can do a personal schedule. Like you can take your little daily planner and every Sunday evening or whenever your free time is when the kids are in bed or if you have a break, Think about what you want to post for the next five days and put it in your calendar. Make a plan of action and then start your research. Start finding pictures for you, what you want to post per day. Think of a theme, when, what you want to post each day. Um, I talk about pre-scheduling posts, which is a huge game changer. If you are not pre-scheduling your posts, you are doing yourself a disgrace or a disservice. Am I using the wrong terms? Disservice. Pre-scheduling your posts. Y'all, <laughs> if only y'all knew how crazy busy I really am behind the scenes, but I don't make it appear that way to my VIP group because my VIP group gets their posts every day, all day, and I'm never sitting at the computer when those posts are being posted. My husband thinks I'm on Facebook 24-7, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> I pre-scheduled those two days ago, or I pre-scheduled all that a week ago. I am not on Facebook. I am upstairs washing clothes. What you talking about? My stuff is nine times out of ten pre-scheduled. And I'm not saying that it's always pre-scheduled because sometimes, you know, our limited time offers pop up or something may change or I may forget because that's happened many a times. And I may just post random things here and there as I'm thinking about it. Or if something's happening in my living room, or if my kids are doing whatever, or my pup is acting crazy, I may post a picture of them at the spur of a moment. Or if we're outside in the pool and they're doing bungee jumping off into the water, I may do a little boomerang video and throw that in there. But I, nine times out of ten, have my posts pre-scheduled, and I'm not going to go into how you do that. There's a tutorial also in our team page of how to pre-schedule posts within Facebook groups, and it's like a game and time changer. You can pre-schedule all your posts a week in advance, two weeks in advance, a month in advance. I don't go that far out because then I end up forgetting what I freaking scheduled, and I can't. I have ADD. I, I would, it would drive me nuts. So I usually do a week in advance. Um, and so I do want to throw that out there. Going live and doing videos, I want to throw that out there too. If you have not done a live, if you have not done a recorded video, you're doing yourself a disservice. I got that word now. Do live videos, y'all. If you are scared to do live videos or pre-recorded videos, do it with us. Do it right here in the team page. Um, just let me know and I will give you access to the group and you can do your own live and talk about whatever you want in our team page if you want to get over that fear. 
I'm telling y'all now, I could not do this a year ago, a year and a half ago. I think it's been two years. Uh-uh. Don't you cannot catch me on the internet live. Now it's like I go, every time I have something on my mind, I'm live. If Matt wants to talk about something, I'm live. It's like a nothing. It's nothing to me now. It's like talking to the mirror, right? You just got words on the bottom of the screen and people are watching you. I mean, that does seem a little intimidating, I know. But the more you do it, the more comfortable you will feel. You will start to not care about what you look like. You will start to care not to care what you're wearing. Nobody cares. They just want to see and hear what you got to say. And if you're sharing the product, if you're showing them how to change your wax, if you're showing them what's coming up, if you're showing them what you got in your Scentsy Club, that's huge, your whiff boxes, if you're showing them and sharing what you're getting and you're, they're seeing the excitement, they're seeing what you're getting in person, they're going to want that. They're going to understand why it's so important, why it's amazing. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Oh, I didn't know it lit up. Oh, I didn't know it was that big. The warmer, wow. It's a game changer. If you're not going live or doing pre-recorded videos and posting them in your VIP group, you are doing yourself a disservice. And I'm hoping I'm using that word right because I'm just throwing words out because I want to feel like and be smart. <laughs> so don't mind me. But y'all get my drift, right? You can post all day long. But the moment you do a live and show them how to change the wax versus just taking a picture of a cotton cleanup and you're showing them how it just soaks up like that, they're going to be like, oh, wow, I didn't know it did that. Where do you get them? Speaking of which, I wish they would, I wish they would come back. But anyways, y'all get my drift? I hope so. So make sure you're trying to do some videos, lives, if anything. At least, my goal is to at least go two or three times a week live in my VIP group. I'm trying to go more live with you guys too. And that's why I do every Monday with you guys. And I will continue that after we do our team incentives for July. I, will, I think doing announcements and checking in with you guys live. Like, are you guys getting more information that way, right? When you guys are talking to me versus just seeing a post with words, right? It's a difference, big difference. Um, so we talked about pre-scheduling and then developing your um, your VIP group hours. So everybody's different. I'm a night owl. At the same time, I can work my business 24-7. And I have got to realize that you have to have balance. So if you feel like you're being stressed, you feel like that it's been all about Sensi and you feel strained and you feel tired and you are burnt out, think about how you're running your business. Do you have hours set? Does your VIPs know you have hours? Target closes at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, right? They have hours. Walmart is 24-7, I guess. So they have continuing employees running. But like, you know what I'm saying? Businesses have hours. You are a business. You should have hours, right? So have them posted and put them in your VIP in your um, announcement section of your hours. Everybody knows from 8 to 6, they can reach me. I may not be right away, but they know that 8 to 6, I'm typically running my Sensi business in between 25 other things. But I'm here, right? They know on Saturdays I'm typically around. They typically know that they can reach me. I'll be placing orders or if they need help or whatever, they know I'm around. Sunday, they know it's family time, right? And sometimes those hours change. I may do Saturday and Sunday family time. I may do... They're up to you how you want to change your hours, but make sure if you have no established hours of VIP group of your business, I suggest you do that too. Let your VIPs know because I was having customers PM me 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Hey, Kim, can you help me? Hey, Kim, I want to place an order and I need it today. And I was like, oh my God, okay, okay, what do you, what do you, what do you need? And Matt was like, Kim, what are you doing? Like, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, yeah, but Susie Q needs this. You know, spend time with your family. Set those hours. Let your VIPs know. You are a business. You're a business owner. Do y'all realize that? Ladies, we are business owners. Whether you believe it or it feels like, you are a business. Open up that storefront and let your customers know. Treat it like a business, it will treat you like a business owner. Or am I saying that right either? Y'all get my drift, right? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Treat your business like a business and you will see the worth. You will see it grow.
If you don't treat it like a business, you're not going to get business success out of it. Does that make any sense? I'm hoping that makes sense. Be consistent. Show up. If you're sick, you have a migraine, you have a headache, don't go MIA. Yeah, it may be hard to just throw a post out there. Say, hey, VIPs, I'm so sorry. I know we planned on doing this and that today, but I'm dealing with such and such. Or my kids are sick. Or Let them know. Don't be MIA. Be consistent. Show up for your customers. Show up for your business. Be consistent. Show up. I keep saying that over and over. And you will see your business grow. You will see your VIP group grow. Okay? Um, so let's just talk about really quick. And I know we're at 540. So I'm trying to keep this under an hour. But as far as consultants and VIPs. So like I said, I always kind of bring this up. Is that, And you guys may be having the same issues, right? You, we don't keep consultants in VIP groups. And there's a couple reasons why. One, VIP groups are for customers for a reason, right? We're trying to sh um, share the product. We're trying to build relationships. We're trying to build the opportunity. You know, you may have, be having opportunity talks about, you know, joining Sensi for their own benefits, things like that. When you have consultants in your VIP group, it kind of is like a competition. It's not genuinely for the customers. Customers are in there to be treated as VIPs because they are the ones that, that run and build your business, right? So having consultants in there is kind of like a no-no. And that's why when you guys are my VIPs and you guys have joined as uh, teamies, that's why we have a team page because now you guys are from customer VIPs to teamies, to Wickless for Life go-getters teams. So if you have consultants, even your friends, like I want to throw this out there too, even if you have friends or family members that are consultants and they're in your VIP group, I suggest you take them out. Because these are for customers. VIP groups are for customers. For them to be treated as such. To be treated as VIPs, exclusive members that provide value to your business. Con other consultants do not provide, that are outside of the team, they don't provide value to your business. Does that make sense? I, that may seem a little cold, but I'm hoping you guys get a drift. We've been taught that you know VIP groups are here to help build your business. If you have other consultants that are taking products, that are taking ideas, that are copy and pasting from your VIP group to their VIP group, or they're taking stuff that you've created or took time to create for just your VIPs, and they take it and put it in their personal page, that's not fair for you taking time out and creating content for your VIP group, and then they're taking it and they're not investing and they're not providing the true value and authenticity to their business, they're taking it from you, right? So that is why it's important to keep customers in that are true customers in your VIP group. Okay. Okay. So does anyone have any questions that's here? I see you guys here. I see you guys popping in and out. I appreciate you guys hanging with me. I know it seems like it's a lot. I can talk about VIP groups all night long because there's a lot to it. And your VIP group is not going to grow overnight. If you are just joining this team, just know that it does take time to build a VIP group. I have been a Sensi consultant for almost six years. And mind you, the first two and a half years, I didn't treat my business as a business. I was basically a hobbyist. I was only a Sensi consultant because I wanted a discount, right? I did have a VIP group. I would post here and there when there's a sale or when there's a big product coming down the pipe. But that was pretty much it, right? The past almost two years now, I have really been growing my VIP group. I have really been investing time, branding myself, being creative, trying new things, trying new ideas. Um, it takes time, guys. It takes time. Some people leave my VIP group. Some people come to my VIP group. That's another thing. If you're having parties or if you are um, finding new customers, the first thing should be in your mind is let's let me invite them to my VIP group because that's where you're sharing. That's where you're sharing Sensi. That is where they can learn about you. That is where they can learn to trust you, and that will build the sharing opportunity for the products or for the business for them to join your team, right? Or to host a party, right? They're going to see all these products and they're like, oh, I can't afford it. Well, if you host a party, you can get all this for free. So it builds that trust in so many avenues. Okay. So always think about sharing your group, even on your personal page. Think about being creative. Think about being personal. Think about being you. Do they know you? Do they know you? Do they know what you do? 
Do they know what you love? Do they know that you wake up every morning with a freaking knot in your hair because you don't brush your hair or wash your hair? I mean, I'm just going on on what I do because they, they know Kim's a hot mess. But they know me and they know I'm real and they know that I'm a hot mess and they know that I have two kids and they know that I have a crazy husband that pops in and drinks beer in my background lives. Like they know and they expect that and they love it because they know that we are, we have no cut cards and we just want to share what, why we love Sensi and why we're here. And they know how grateful we are and they know how blessed we are to have them as part of our, as part of our family. You know, they feel the love. Do they feel love in your VIP group? You know, these are the things I want you guys to think about, and I'm hoping you guys are learning from this video, this training today. I'm hoping you guys know I'm genuine, and I want each and every one of you to succeed, and I don't want you guys to feel like, well, my VIP group hasn't been growing, and I've been doing this for three or four months. Well, think of things that you may not be doing right now, and change things up. Let those changes work for at least 30 to 60 days before you start seeing success. You may not see it immediately. Mystery hostess, may not, mystery hostess parties may not work for your VIP group. They may or may not. I'm just giving you ideas that I see success in. They may not bring you success. You may have more success in doing other ideas that may not bring me success. You see what I'm saying? Everybody's group is different. Megan says that all the time. Her VIPs are totally different than my VIPs. And your VIPs may be different than my VIPs. It just all depends. Hey, Francis, no problem. You can watch the replay, no problem. Where can I find information to create my own Sensi Flyers? I would like to, share, like to share them to the Flyer group. So, Erica, let me touch really base about that because I know a lot of you guys are new. Um, flyers are, and I talked about this in the compliance post today. Flyers are a little tricky. And I would be first and foremost honest with you, I don't make my own flyers. I use the flyer groups for a reason because there are techni technical ways to make flyers and if you don't do them correctly, then you'll be in non-compliance. So creating your own Scentsy flyers like with the warmers and the waxes and, and all that jazz or warmer and wax bundles and things that you may see, I don't do them. And you could. You have got to learn how to make them though in the flyer groups. They do instructional videos in the, in the announcements side of things. I've never ventured that because those admins, they rock it. They make the flyers for me. I take them and I run with them. I do make my own personal, if you're talking about like ones with my cartoon or the ones that I may have shared with you guys in the past, they have been made with Canva. And they are made with personal graphics. They're not made with the warmers and the waxes and all that jazz. They're just personal, like, template ones. Like, kind of like what I show with you guys, like my training calendars and, and my announcements with you guys. I don't make, make flyers Scentsy flyers because that's just a whole nother avenue that I don't want, I don't want to get involved with because I want to make sure my flyers are right. And I just use, the admins, the Sensi girls that make them in those groups, they're bomb.com. They put the logo where it needs to go. They put the wording independent Sensi consultant where it needs to go. The warmers are, I don't bother with it. I want to be upfront with you, but you can learn by all means in the flyer groups. Um, there's instructional videos um, on YouTube. I just don't venture that avenue. I mean like creating my own days instead of wax. How do I uh, I mean, like creating my own days instead of like wax Wednesday. Oh, you, so you're trying to find out like themed days? I go on Pinterest. Like I, you can go on Google and Pinterest and type in themed Scentsy days or come up with your own ways. Like I've come up with so many different ways depending on what I want to talk about. I've, I've come up with some crazy ones before and I um, can't think on top of my head. I hope that makes sense, Erica. Please tell me if I'm, if I'm not answering your question. Um, but you can make your own Canva flyers. Like I've done things like if it's your birthday, do top your top favorite items for the week. You know, if you're if it's your if it's if it's your birthday week, I've done that for Matt. I've embarrassed him all week long when it was his birthday, and I did top five Matt scents and top five Matt uh, products and top, and you know, baby pictures of Matt. And so I think of things to keep my my VIPs intrigued. Um, I do different things like when it was my kid's birthday I did the same thing for them when it's my birthday I did the same thing for me and so you just have to think of some creative things think outside the box sometimes Pinterest is really huge 
on different things that you may not see through Facebook. So I've come up with a lot of ideas from Pinterest. I'll be honest with you. Um, so does anyone else have any other questions? I'm just going back through my notes. I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to throw out there to you guys. Um, always think about growing your VIP group. If you're looking at to grow your VIP group and you're always sharing your VIP group on your personal page, you're not getting any bites, think about sharing it via Messenger. PM your friends. If they're not part of your VIP group and you're trying to venture out, personally inviting them versus posting about it has really changed the game for me as well. I see them looking at my stuff all the time, but then they're not in my VIP group or they've ordered from me and they're not in my VIP group. And I'm just like, girl, come on over to my VIP group because I need you to be in and know all the things and get in get in and all the fun. And nine times out of ten, you approaching them personally, they're gonna they're gonna join your VIP group. And the more they see your content, things will start turning wheels. You see what I'm saying? So if you're posting in your personal page about VIP group and you're not getting any bites, think about personally messaging your friends. And if you are new to doing all that, take, take your jacket off, take that uncomfortable feeling jacket off and just do it. Just do it. Take it from me. My advice to you girls is that if you've got a fear jacket on, just take it off. Just take it off. I'm not saying take it all off. <laughs> take your jacket, fear jacket off, and just do it. You are on the screen. What's the worst that can happen? They don't respond. They say no. You tried it though, right? PM your, your friends. Ask them if they are interested in the brand new catalog season and hosting. I mean, I'm kind of squirreling. I'm going outside the box of VIP groups. But being personal, doing things that you have never tried to do, try them. And I guarantee you will find success on the other side. If you are not, if you're, if you're not, not finding success in your VIP group, hopefully you can use some of the ideas and the thoughts that I've provided with you guys as far as being personal, um, branching out, um, doing different things in your VIP groups. I love engagement posts. It doesn't have to be all sensey. Um, today, I posted a uh, a meme with Mrs. Doubtfire, and y'all know how she couldn't cook, and she put her, um, and she had those pot lids, and she was burning herself and stuff. I had a meme that I found, and it, it said, like, put what kind of gif of a cooker you are. And I had, like, 15 people comment on it. But all day today, it has been crickets in my VIP group. Maybe people are busy. Maybe people are not interested in the all-purpose concentrate. Maybe they're not busy. Maybe they're not interested, I meant. I'm sorry. Maybe they're not interested in the all-purpose concentrate or the best but berry uh, koala bears. Maybe they weren't just interested in the Harry Potter reminder. Okay. But as soon as I posted that engagement about the Mrs. Doubtfire thing, they started commenting on it. Well, guess what? I commented on different ones that have posted, and I'm actually learning about my VIPs from that post. And now, someone's going to be baking me an apple pie for November. Someone's going to help me with some recipes. They're going. I'm learning about my VIPs, and they're learning about me. They know that I hate cooking. One of my neighbors that commented on it, we're going to get together and have dinner one night because I'm realizing that she loves the same things that I love just off of that engagement generic Mrs. Doubtfire post that I posted earlier today. You see what I'm saying? So it's not all about Sensi guys. It's about getting to know your customers, having fun, be yourself. Sensi is a bonus. I know you guys want to build your business. I know you guys want to make money and build and grow and promote. And that will definitely come when you have the foundations that I'm trying to express with you guys. It will come. And it may come faster than others. It may, it may not happen immediately, but it will come. I promise you guys. Okay? So just stick with it. Be consistent. And just show up. Be you. Be authentic. So I am over the time. I have one minute to share. Um, anybody have any questions about anything we went over? I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Like I said, I kind of wanted to keep this a training a little general. I didn't want to go into depths of how to create a VIP group or, or um, how to pre-schedule your post or, you know, what you should do. I was just giving you guys some ideas on how to make your VIP group stand out and to grow your VIP group genuinely and authentically, and you will see results. 
you um if you want to know more nooks and crannies make sure you check out that february 19th training that i uploaded in the youtube channel of ours um facebook i forgot what i called it facebook groups and facebook business page tips training i did it february 19th i'm sorry 9th of this year so if you want to learn more about what the difference is between groups and pages, how to pre-schedule your posts, what you should do with parties, with VIPs. Like there's a whole lot more that I could get into, but we will be on night. And I don't want to waste you guys time too much, but just make sure you check out that video. Um, so if you're still here watching this or you're watching the replay and you made it this far, guess what? Surprise! Happy mail. Okay? So I want you guys to... PM me via Facebook Messenger, or you can text me if you rather text me. If you guys want my number, 240-419-1814. Um, just let me know who you are, <laughs> just in case I don't have your phone number programmed. But I want you guys to message me or text me. I want you guys to text me or message me two things that you learned today. All right? If you guys have been here for a while, Megan and I used to do happy mail challenges after every training, but it got to be a point where people weren't participating as much and we weren't getting true, genuine people that really wanted to commit to the trainings and they only would skim to the bottom of the training and then find out about the happy mail challenge and then they would skim my video, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I want to bring that back because I want, you guys know how much I love you guys. And I am genuinely telling you guys that I value your opinions. I value your hard work. I value you guys being here, whether you're a hobbyist, whether you're here for the discount, whether you guys are just curious to see what I got to say, whether you guys are truly wanting to build your business or build your VIP group, or if you just want to see what shirt I'm wearing tonight, you're here, right? So. Text me or Facebook message me two things that you learned tonight in this training video. Um, and it's what? Six o'clock? So by tomorrow, let's say 12. 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Message me two things and I will pull a winner to send some happy mail to you. Or I'll send you something magically to your email box. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day, your evening, to spend with me for an hour about VIP groups and why they're very important, why I am truly invested in my VIP group. I do not miss a beat. My VIP group it means the world to me. I treat it like it's the bread and butter of my business, and that is where a bulk of my business comes from is my VIP group. Yes, randomly I'll get orders online. Yes, I may randomly get orders through my personal page. Yes, I may get randomly orders through a party. But at the end of the day, the VIPs is what makes it. Get to know your VIPs. Your VIPs should get to know you. They should know all about you first. Share Sensi. Do not sell Sensi. Throw that mindset out the window if you have it because you won't go far. Y'all know I will not beat around the bush, sugarcoat, nothing. You will not go far in this business if you feel that you're here to sell and make money. Yes, we are here to make money. I'm not saying that, but it's a way about doing it and you will. I promise you, you guys will grow. If you are not aware, I just want to throw this out here really, really quick, really, really quick. If you guys don't think Sensi, and, I, I, and I'm throwing the income disclaimer out there, Facebook, Income disclaimer, okay? If you guys don't think that you can't make sensey, our, our superstars, our stars, directors, our directors, even the lead consultants are making money with Sensi. Making money. Ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month in Sensi. Some of our top leaders. And our top leaders, I mean like our superstar director, Kara. I mean, I'm sorry, Callie, Tara. Callie, you all know Callie from Group Make It Happen. She makes bank. You can make Sensi. She does not sell Sensi. She shares it. She simply shares it. If you follow Callie um, on Callie Smith on um, social media, she does not sell Sensi. She shares it. So just think, look at all of our leaders. If you are following some superstars or directors making money, they are sharing Sensi. They are not selling it. And I'm learning that from them. And I am seeing results. And I don't want to keep throwing this out there either, but 
since he has changed my life, and it can change yours too, guys, and I'm not just saying that, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I'm not trying to throw that out there, but I, I'm, I'm telling y'all real. If y'all are here to make money, share Sensi. If that's the only thing that you take from this video, share Sensi, and it will make your business huge. All right, I'm done squirreling. You guys are so welcome. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Jen. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. Do hashtag replay. Um, make sure you message me, text me. Two things that you learn by tomorrow at noon Eastern time, and I will pull some happy mail winners. All right, guys, have a great night. Mwah. Thank you, guys.